the HIMARS took out an unidentified land-based target from a distance of 70 kilometers, or roughly 43 miles, using a guided multiple launch rocket system unitary, or GMLRSU, according to a Navy news release. Rocket launched this week when Marines obliterated a land-based target from the sea during a training exercise in the Pacific. <laughs> Lieutenant General Brian Bodrold, Marine Corps Deputy Commandant for Plans, Policies and Operations, described the effort as supporting the service's new literal operations in a contested environment concept, which is the Navy and Corps operating in closer concert to become more lethal from the sea. Whether the shooting rocket artillery from an amphibious platform or an alternative platform is something that we're looking at and refining, he said. What we have may fit the bill, or it might be an adjustment to what we currently have. Major sea-based exercises give the Navy and Marine Corps the chance to experiment with new ways to employ weapons and equipment. With biennial North Carolina-based exercise Bold Alligator having been significantly scaled back in the wake of major hurricane relief efforts, eyes are on Dawn Blitz to prove out new concepts, Bodrold said. What we didn't learn on the East Coast, we can learn on the West Coast, he said. In addition to proving that hammers can be shot from an amp able to take out a land-based target, the proof-of-concept test demonstrated the ability of the Marine Corps and Navy to work together, Ropolowski said. What we demonstrated not only was its capability, but we further demonstrated capabilities from the blue-green team, he said. They performed very well and were able to come together and work hard to make the mission successful. The high ours is the High Mobility Artillery Rocket System. Uh, it is a built on a five-ton chassis and it has a launcher pod on the back. It can hold one rocket pod with six rockets. Friday and Saturday we got a chance to do some rocket fire training. So on Camp Pilgrim we can only use the Ripper rounds, the reduced range practice round. It's a telephone pole with a rocket on the end. It is not accurate, there's no explosive device inside it, so it's much cheaper than shooting a Gimlers, which is a GPS guided with a warhead inside. What equipment decon is you have to remove all the contamination from any kind of equipment. And that's what we did. I've done this with a few units. This is the first time with 511. We actually have what's called RSD teams, which is recon, surveillance, and decontamination teams. Primarily the decon teams come from headquarters battery. So we train those guys to do equipment decon and we were able to pull teams from headquarters battery to actually perform the equipment decon for uh, equipment from